This is the first fox bat in Australia with controls which have been adapted uh, so it can be flown by a person with little or no use of their legs, a paraplegic person. Um, it's essentially a fox bat with standard yoke controls, um, as you can see here. Um, uh, but the main difference to the aircraft is the throttle lever, which also in uh, its other mode doubles as a rudder control. So as a throttle, as in the normal yoke control aircraft, it moves backwards and forwards. The brakes are on the front of the throttle as normal. But as you can see, the, um, the stick is considerably longer uh, than for the standard yoke control aircraft. I was approached originally maybe a couple of years ago by some people who were inquiring about whether the Fox Bat could be adapted uh, for flight by people with little or no use of their legs. Um, it's very easy to get into and out of and it was from that point of view quite attractive. Uh, so I went to the factory and initially the response was a little bit muted but what I didn't realise was in the background over the last 18 months or so they've been working hard uh, to develop this particular control system. The beauty of this aircraft is that in its normal mode it can be flown like a normal aircraft with this as the throttle and the control yoke system uh, operates in the normal way, the rudder pedals in the normal way. But with the addition of this little lever between the uh, top of the control and the rudder con connection it will convert it so that this lever will also operate the rudders um, as well as the throttle. And a further bonus is that the rudder pedals on both sides of the aircraft remain operative even though this is connected up. Um, it's a very simple process, maybe takes 10 minutes or so uh, to change this system. It's just a case of putting this little lever in here and the use of two bolts and split pins to do so. This is the bottom end of the throttle rudder control uh, which moves backwards and forwards as far as the throttle is concerned. and there are two connections where this piece of rod fits in here. So first of all the locking bolt and the collar which locks the uh, uh, throttle and will stop it moving sideways and secondly the rudder connection which is down at the bottom here. So all we've got to do basically is take the split pins out, the safety pins out, take these bolts out, replace them, put the uh, lever in and tighten up the bolts, put the safety pins back again. It's really a very simple procedure. Now the connecting rod for the rudders is in place. The uh, controls have been unlocked now, so uh, the uh, control will move from side to side. And in doing so, operates the rudder control, which is the bottom part of it there. So as an instructor, you can fly the aircraft in the normal way. Yoke controls operate here, and the rudder pedals still operate the steering and the, uh, and the rudder or as a, a pilot with no use of their legs, then uh, you, can, you can use the uh, rudder control in this way with the aircraft and the throttle.